LG says goodbye to the smartphone market. And that is probably the right time to look at the last flagship device from LG. And probably one of the most interesting devices that came out last year, the LG Wing. So let's get started with the unboxing. The LG Wing comes in this pretty unspectacular box, which just states Wing and says hard case included. Since when you heard the last time that a hard case is included in your device or whenever was it printed on a box. On the side we have powered by ThinQ and Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Okay, that sounds interesting. We can see that this is the European version, European SIM card only it says, and it has a CE a signature or CE flag here and says don't throw it into the trash. Okay, I'm not throwing it into the trash, don't worry. Uh, it's recyclable anyway. Uh, we have a ceiling here that I breached already. On the other side you can see it is going here through the side. And on the top we have another LG logo. And on the bottom we have the emis that I don't want to show you right now. So I would start unboxing it. <laughs> the first thing that we see here is the phone itself. And here you can see what makes this phone so special. LG Wing and no thank you or anything weirdly after it. Just LG Wing. Pretty straightforward name. Swivel mode. This is one of the main features of this device. Gimbal motion camera, another feature of the device. 6.8 inch flawless POLED full vision display, another feature of the device. And dual recording, another feature on the device. Guess what? Those are the main and major features of this device. And if we get this device out of the box, you can see the great color that we here have. This is not the blue version. This is a version called on the back somewhere on the other side here. It is called made in Vietnam. No, it is called Illusion Sky. So it should illuminate the sky or should be an illusion and look like a sky. Anyway, what I will do is I will peel this Thing off here. Can I peel it off? Yeah. And get the LG wing out of this case. It's a bit of a heavy device. Here we have the LG logo, CE logo as well as the triple lens setup. The main camera lens is the 64 megapixel camera lens at the top. I guess it's a uh, 64 megapixel f1.8 25 millimeters wide angle, 1 over 1.72 inch size sensor, uh, has uh, OIS and face detection autofocus. Then we have a 13 megapixel ultra wide, uh, 117 degree f1.9, uh, 1 over 3.4 inch sized sensor. And then we have the gimbal camera sensor, which is 12 megapixel ultra wide, 1 over 2.55 inch sized sensor and f2.2 and of course we have an LED dual flash as well. Yeah and the trick of the cool device is not revealed yet. Let's go to the side to check out what we see here. The power button, the volume rocker, I think it's a power button and on this side yeah we have a sim card tray. It looks like a big one but apropos SIM card tray, also it's a bit curved, as you can see here the display. Can you see it? A bit curved. There's a curve to it. Uh, let's, let's put it aside. I don't want to play with it yet. So let's check out what we have here in the box. Ooh, accessories. Can you believe it? This is a 2020 flagship with accessories. So we have a power brick here. European adapter, of course, because I'm in Europe. 
and it says travel adapter something 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 output uh, it's readable output for me i don't need uh, uh, some kind of magnifying glass for it 15 watts 25 watts max made in vietnam as well so this is the usb type c oh interesting charger so i guess we will also get a usb bb type c to type c charging cable and this is exactly what we get here in the box as you can see usb type c on usb type c and then we have something else here what is this a nice little package as well ah this is a oh it's one of the first lg phones without a headphone jack i didn't even notice there's no headphone jack not here not there not everywhere there's no headphone jack so they put a dongle here for your headphones it's the first lg phone without a headphone jack probably so you get a usb type c to 3.5 millimeter dongle here in this little cardboard box. probably this cardboard box should have also included some headphones but they decided ah we have to cut cost we have to cut cost and no 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 uh this is it uh, what did i forget here this white piece of toilet paper no uh let's open this up from the top apparently what do we have here the hard case ah the hard case i was missing it so here we have the hard case quick start guide yeah yeah and the sim needle <laughs> so i was like thinking where's the sim needle so i have to open this up here to get to the sim needle which is conveniently packaged up in another little transparent package uh, i just want to open up the sim tray to take a look what we can put inside of the lg wing so let's get out of it uh, let's check what type of stuff we can put in here Ooh. let's open it up we so we have the possibility to put in a micro sim a nano sim sorry and a micro sd card this is how it looks like there's nothing else in there so i guess is there writing what should go in here yeah a nano sim it's written here oh can you see it can you read it can i get closer and the camera is still focusing nano sim and micro sd card it's written there so this is what you can get in here so no no dual sim apparently uh, let me read in the specs i don't see it there no dual sim so yeah that's it uh yeah quick start guide i don't need it and this is the famous infamous hard case that lg ships with let's see have a look around this hard case oh it has some blue protection foil and a blue oh an interesting design i would say as you can see here also yeah a bit grippy of a texture as you can see here eventually lg logo as well and this here i think it is a little bit of glue it looks like there's glue underneath to make it fit better yeah maybe you can use it without this protection first now we come to the major event you've been all waiting for the swivel mode of the lg wing my first swivel of the LG wing. This is so cool and it feels good in the hand. It's not like it's getting heavier from this swivel. And by the way, I should be able to swivel it with one hand. So swivel it all and swivel it in. It feels good, not bad, I have to say. Solid device, solid swivel, solid swivel back. It's a bit of a big device. Let's get my Xperia 5 Mark II here. You can see it's a bit bigger let's get the xperia one mark ii here Whoa, almost the same size but a little bit wider than the xperia as you can see here the xperia if i put it on top here it's almost the same size but it is a little bit narrower so 21 by 9 aspect ratio this is i think 20 by 9 aspect ratio a 6.8 inch oled screen p oled screen let's turn this device on you can see there is no front wing a uh, front wing front facing camera on the lg wing this is because the 
oh it is in erasing mode interesting uh, because it is hiding in here which is just a pop-up camera an invention from 2019 i think where those pop-up cameras were quite uh, popular just like on the mi 9t for example when i just unlock this device and come in here the camera mode and then boom 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 i can play with this all day long until the edgy wing is started it's an lg so it takes a bit longer to start no no uh yeah this is what you can do with such pop-up cameras and i'm sure the lg wing also has such a pop-up camera here so it takes a while to start you can see the LG lg logo life's good now yeah life's not so good for lg at the moment i would say with uh, i think well, they are doing pretty good in other business areas but not with the uh smartphones and here it's starting as you can see here oh yeah the bezels on the top on on the bottom are a bit let me check here familiar for xperia users but you can see they're still thinner um, and yeah this is now the first installation wizard i have to put everything in here my data and so on and then, then i will uh, move on and show you a little bit more of the user interface so just for the fun of it i did not talk about the specs here we have an 8 gigabytes of ram snapdragon 765g 5g processor and 4000 milliampere hours um, battery and what i want to do now is like how do i authenticate it i know it's in german now it's switched languages yeah uh, i can enter a fingerprint scanner here and to do this i have to give it a pin or some kind of pattern so i give it a pin very secure pin that i have to type in two times this is why i'm not showing it to you and now i can use a fingerprint scanner built into the screen on an lg can you think that do you think this is possible i know the lg velvet also had it but it was not the best i would say and this is i think a second generation one should be better than the velvet one but it is a second generation also or almost first generation try for flagship device on the lg and yeah okay now i have to like slightly move my finger okay it worked yeah and that's it okay i have like some texts here as well i have to sell my soul and i'm over 16 years old i don't want anything else and that's it there we go this is the user interface and of course lg it can't really you can't understand it but it's telling me don't remove the battery i don't know how often people try to remove the battery on lg devices let's first go into settings and i'll show you the operating system here that we have let me find it quickly uh, is android version 10 as you can see here android version 10 i'm just holding my thumb over the emi numbers so you don't see them um, so let's go back and let's go to the language and uh, the cool thing is i can just add new languages just like english here and i say i'm should i say a uk no UK has been thrown out of the European Union, so we are in the US now. Can switch languages. This easy. And now we are in the language game. By default, it's using the gesture navigation, which is pretty interesting because in the assistant first installation wizard, it was still using the free button navigation keys. So what do we have here? We have uh, location services are working. So it located me. It's saying it's evening. That is true. It's not showing the time here interestingly enough but only the weather information i have all the google uh, apps i have learn how to use gestures i have notifications working i have the lg skin running here i have some other things like finish setting up the device and uh, 
and this here like this funny message don't remove the battery and I cannot get rid of it to click on it probably and it says so if you have problems with the phone press those two buttons and then how to use just uh, anyway so uh, the LG wing with its first swivel with the device and here we got introducing the swivel home and now I can see what what is what add and rearrange settings be in swivel mode have uh, second screen applications done now we have here an application where I can say I want YouTube and Google Chrome at the same time it's opening up them uh, both of them I can dismiss uh, Chrome here I can open up the Play Store if I want to uh, download my favorite things here I can go here to the home screen I have the camera here if I want to go to the camera I can go to Google Maps here if I want to let me quickly change my location a bit so you don't see exactly where I am now I have Google Maps on the top and on the bottom I can still go into an app drawer and go to my messages for example and write some messages or something like this so this is possible with this uh, mode now I think Google Maps uh, disabled itself because uh, Play Store is updating stuff so this is the swivel mode and if I swivel back you see I'm back on my normal screen yeah uh, let's maybe take a first vlogging test go to the camera camera modes it's also explaining me stuff and this was everything for the camera why camera again closing again probably there's a Google system update downloading and probably this is causing the issue try it again oh okay this is how I switch between different modes okay and this is how I can get quick controls on this big device pretty nice LG was always nice in innovating stuff and press and hold the shutter button to take a video okay yeah on while the apps in use so if I do this I have all my settings in here so I don't have to go to the top to change my aspect ratio I can do this here Whew, pretty nice why don't they put this directly down there ah if you have it like this you can use a second hand you don't need to do this I get it LG was thinking anyway uh, now let's try out this camera Oh, there we have the camera it's selfie and it is giving me a warning what to do and what not to do with the camera as you can see here front camera usage okay and there you can see me hi that's me that's my mate 30 pro recording this uh, anyway so this is working you can see a nice little animation here not as fancy as on the Mi 9T where it has an LED light here that you can also use for uh, notifications but why do I need a notification light if I have an always on display just like this one here and here you can see the time so it's already uh, 25 minutes past 8 wow you can see 49 90 oh it's not an always on display apparently it's not it's just like for a few seconds and then that's it you can see notifications you can see the battery status here yeah, you can see it and here I can unlock the device well it works that works so let's do a short video recording to see how this looks like Ooh, this looks like a little bit of a ghost uh, kind of uh, lightning and yeah, this has something to do because I have my uh, things down here can I, I think I can take a photo of me apparently uh, I can take a selfie what is this button it's pause button but I cannot switch cameras during recording at least I don't see a way to do this but I can pause the video and resume the video uh, which is interesting yes yeah, so this is the front facing uh, video uh, quality that you can expect I'm doing of course my camera test with this but I think oh, it doesn't look so bad at least on the viewfinder and now this is the back facing video here you can see my setup Mate 30 Pro my ring light and I have my microphone still plugged into the Mate 30 Pro why why because I want to show you how this works with the included audio of the device itself it is going into ultra steady mode it's set so there's good stabilization going on here you can see the box of the LG wing and all the accessories 
and one of the accessories is the adapter here and I noticed because I already tried plugging in this bloody Sony adapter that I use for my Huawei device uh, it came with the Xperia 1 it is not working it tells me it's not compatible with your LG wings so I have to rely on this adapter here of the LG wing package for future videos I think um, I can switch cameras can I yeah, I can go into two times zoom, which is, I think, only cropping in. And I can go into the super wide angle lens. There you can see my setup because here my monitor uh, with all the cheat sheet where I am reading my um, stuff. And yeah, this is really a bed where I sleep eventually tonight. Uh, okay, that is the possibility that I have here during recording, switching between the camera lenses. And this works pretty nicely during recording. Job, good, well done. So that's enough of the camera symbols. Uh, let's see the unlock animation here. It works fine. I can go into T mode. One thing that I will show you in a camera review is the uh, gimbal mode. If I go into the camera here, now I have a gimbal where I can, uh, yeah, without moving the camera right now, I can show you the, the box here that is with the contents. Just by pressing up here, you can see, whoo, I can see the charger. Uh, because it has like a virtual gimbal mode. You can see here uh, on the left side where I am currently. So I can go left and right and has a nice little animation and also a little vi vibration to tell me, okay, now you reached the end of the uh, cropping of the sensor, which is using the ultra wide uh, sensor, the gimbal sensor. Anyway, I will show you this in another video. Let's go back here. And uh, now we're back in the normal camera application and I will do, of course, a review of this camera application as well. Uh, ah, yeah, one thing that I can show you is how does it look like on the back with the uh, gimbal mode or with the T shape. Here you can see the back of the device. You can see here it has a little texture to it. You can see it also. This Illusion Sky is really, really a nice color. It is matte, by the way. So fingerprints should not stick too much on it. And it's a nice glass design. You can see the camera bump is, let's close it up a bit, is not substantial here, but it is a little bit substantial for, for LG. It is substantial, I have to say, but it is not so big as other camera bumps are here in this um, yeah, devices that appeared last year. So this is the LG Wing, this is the unboxing. If you have uh, your favorite story about LG devices, just like the Wing or other devices that you had or have still, just write it down in the comment section. If you have questions about the LG Wing, does it make sense to buy it? Because LG says, ah, oh, we have like uh, the possibility to, oh, I have only this thumb. Uh, we have the possibility to give you up to free updates for our flagship devices still. Uh, up to three means it could be also two or one or even zero, which is uh, a bit sad. So I guess the LG Wing will get Android 11, uh, Android 12, we'll see. But at least you, if you can live with such a device, and I only bought it because I have a smartphone museum or I plan to make a smartphone museum, and this is, I think, one of the devices that should go into this because it's so crazy and so cool to have this option and... Yeah, you can do this with one hand. Yes, no matter what reviewers say, you can do this with one hand. Even if you have tiny hands, you should be able to reach here and do this. Uh, so this is possible. And uh, integrated search. Oh, interesting. Anyway, uh, if you have questions, write them down in the comment section. That's everything for this video, for this extensive unboxing of the LG Wing, the last LG flagship smartphone. And without a headphone jack, but a pop-up camera. Can you believe it? Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.